We're kind of trying to figure out what's going on with Britney. Um, her quote unquote reconciling with her kids. That was a narrative that the Daily Mail put out. Um, we think by KFED. Now TMZ is saying something different, like it might not have been exactly that way. So who's who's telling what stories and what's the benefit? I It's really hard to know what's going on with Britney right now. I will say the story that we talked about yesterday implied that KFED was telling the Daily Mail, as you said, that he she had reunited with the kids. Sounds like it was maybe just a conversation on the phone. But look, at the end of the day, it's a great thing that Britney is talking to her kids She's got, I'm sure, a long way to go to repair that relationship. And it's got to be even harder now that they're separated by an ocean. Mm -hmm. So it's no small task. So nobody complain about her spending her money going to Hawaii. Because there was, you know, earlier this year, like, she's blowing all of her money on these Hawaiian vacations. Maybe she's just trying to, you know, we don't know what's going on. Maybe she could have been meeting with the kids or, you know, trying to get close to the kids. Yeah, I don't think she's had any contact with them, which is why this phone call was a big deal. But hopefully, hopefully this will be one small step in the direction that they can finally be in the same place. Right, right. Well, Mike, do you have any blind items? Yes, let's take one small step. I actually one giant leap into the blind items. All let's right. do it. Giant leap. Let's go ahead and do some blind items today. Let's start it off with this one. The A minus list singer would love for you and everyone to think that uh, she is hooking up with the one named rapper from a former group, but she's not. So we've got oh. an A minus list singer who would love to. Uh, for you and everyone else to think she's hooking up with a one name rapper from a group, from a former group, but she isn't. Hmm. Mm. So there you go. A list. Is a she minus single? list. Um, I believe she is single, yes. Okay. Which is why I believe there's uh, some rumors around this. So it's not like story. a scandal. Uh, it wouldn't be a scandal, no. I think she is indeed um, single. Okay. And she's an A-list, A-minus list singer. A-minus list described in this blind item. Is she currently touring? I do think she is currently touring. I believe so. It's not Billie Eilish, is it? Nope. Is she foreign born? She is not. Okay. Hmm. Well, is she uh, Dua Lipa? She is not Ah. Dua Lipa, though, right? She is rumored to be with. Who's doing it with again? Uh, Callum Turner. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I have all that in my brain? Well, That's you know, Mike, you can. Job. Yeah, I mean, I'm the one that used to. The reason why you thought you questioned yourself on mm-hmm. it is because I used to say that Dua Lipa was with Taika Waititi. Correct. But it's really Rita, Rita Ora, Ora, and that's why you're confused. Correct. We're good now. Okay, let's see. One named rapper from and a group? It looks like as of uh, a week ago, she is still with her boyfriend, Callum Turner. Okay. From, of course, uh, Masters of the Air theme. A- her yeah. famous list. A- Lady. minus list singer, who we've talked about in the blinds quite a bit. Uh, I don't think you're going to get to the rapper very easily. Okay. okay. It so is focus a, on the singer. Is she a pop star? One named rapper from a group. Uh, pop is probably the wrong word, but it's a word, so sure. Hip-hop? Nope. <laughs> But it's country? like it's, it's it's more pop than anything else, so I'll say pop. Okay, it doesn't have a country pop nope. thing going on. Okay, um, mm, gosh, I'm trying to think who's single. I know everybody I keep thinking of is in a relationship. So is she like in her 30s? She is in her 30s. Yeah, she's in her 30s. Just barely. Oh. Just barely. Just barely meaning she's just barely in her 20s. Nope, the other way. 40s, oh. about to be 40. Okay. 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 Actually, I shouldn't say about to be. She just turned 39. Oh, Oh, okay. All right. So she's got a full year of her 30s still ahead of her. She's well into her 40th year. There you go. (laughs) Um, Is this a... No, that's... She's foreign born. Darn it. it. Okay. I was going to say Camila Mm. Cabello. Nope. Okay. But it is somebody we talk about in the blind items quite a bit. Not maybe as much as uh, old Cece, but... Oh. Mm. Kelly Clarkson? Nope. Okay. We've got, again, an A-list minus singer would love us to all believe she's hooking up with the one-named rapper from a former group, but she isn't. Again, you might get to the one-named rapper from a former group. Um, is it someone from Migos? Yep. There's only two choices. Yes, it is. Offset. Nicely done. Okay. But it's not Offset. No. Um, because that would create some problems. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, unless you believe the blind items. 
because that's currently oh, happening yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, so the other one, obviously, uh, Quavo is the Quavo. Uh, correct answer to yeah, that Quavo, other side Quavo. of it. Yep. All right. Um, and uh, we've got an A minus list singer. Apparently, it wants us all to believe might be uh, hooking up with Quavo, but it's not happening. Mm. Okay, so it's probably gonna be somebody like who's on the tour. Somebody Gosh. who's her name's in a lot of the tabloids, a lot of the headlines because of um through association. Through association. Oh with like P. Diddy? Nope. Uh Demi Lovato? Ben, ben and okay. Jay. Katy Perry. An A-plus lister. Okay. Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. Who does Taylor Swift hang out with? She's in the... She's Sabrina in the B- Carpenter? She's in the BF club. Yeah. Best friends? Um, oh, well, that's Remember so Taylor's many. basically like... She oh, has so many best friends. I know. It's hard because all these people I'm thinking of are in a relationship. Did she... Three named singer. Okay. Mary Louise... Catherine. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Superstar. let me Superstar, Superstar. Catherine. Catherine. <laughs> Mary Catherine Gallagher. Yeah. Um. <laughs> mm. Okay. She's a Taylor Bessie. She's not that would she's not happy this time of year. Oh, oh, summertime sadness. Summertime sadness. Oh shoot, who is that? Oh, I hate that song. Carly Rae Jepsen. Perhaps you like the... Perhaps you like Diet Mountain Dew instead. Oh. Pop. No, that's actually one of her songs. Ice Spice? Three named. Oh, Ice Tea Spice. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Um, Summertime Sadness. Who is that? Oh. Taylor. Friend. Taylor's friend. It's Lana Del Rey. Lana oh, Del God. Rey. God, oh, Lana, uh, Lana Del Rey should have just said Waffle House. We <laughs> oh my it. gosh! Lana, okay, Lana Del Rey would love for you to think she's hooking up with Quavo because there's lots of rumors about some flirty behavior between the two. According to the blind items, that is absolutely not happening. Okay, well, so I don't know. Banana, got to put okay. that on the list. We Apparently, have to that's just a, list some. Uh, I I just have a list of foreign-born singers, mm-hmm. a list, but not American singers. There you go. That's you got to so, add one. I need. Uh, yeah, I'd love she's to. From New York. All right, let's do another one that might not be quite as difficult as that one. All right. Okay. This child actor turned A-list singer and his main rival are playing a game of chicken to see who's going to release an album first. They both want to avoid releasing the same day because of everyone uh, comparing the two, and uh, the sales will determine who the ultimate victor is in in this battle. Wow. So, yeah. Mario Lopez. There you go. It's not um, Shawn Mendes, is it? Nope. Child actor turned A-list singer and his main rival are playing a game of chicken to see oh, who will release oh, an album no. first. No, it can't be JT because uh, it's not Ryan Gosling. Zach Efron <laughs> and Austin Butler. A-list singer. Okay. I know. This child All actor child turned actors. A-list singer and his main rival are playing a game oh, of so chicken. Was a oh, child. Drake. There you go. And his rival, uh, Kendrick Lamar. There we go. There it go. sounds okay. like, according to the blind and items, rival, you mean partner well there's that too <laughs> yeah, if you maybe. believe the other blind items but uh, apparently this beef is uh potentially going to uh cause a little game of chicken here on who's going to release their album first you know if, especially when knowing these two whoever releases an album the next one's going to just have a diss track yeah. album filled yeah. diss track coming up right after that but so we sure do enjoy it don't we, we? Do. aren't we a little tired of it mm. i mean i'm not but as long as it stays relatively fun i mean i just feel like the fun wore off after it seemed like it just went on and on and then like everybody was talking about it once it got into the like he's a pedophile type of a thing i I was like "Ah, ah, ah." yeah yeah so well you don't know that story uh kendrick lamar implying that uh drake likes underage girls well and the blind items have talked about that yeah for sure but that's just blind items. Yes. Or is it? <laughs> Let's do another one here. Very uh, mysterious, Mike. Mysterious. According to the Paps, you could smell the booze on the breath of this A-list actor slash director. Oh. Yep. 
Um, is it JT? No, Ben. You got it. Oh, Ben Affleck? Yeah. What? What are you talking about? I don't know this story. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you I do. do? Smell the booze? According to the paps, Paparazzi. who he was yelling at ben outside Affleck. of his home, oh. you could smell the booze on the breath of the A-list actress. Which would not be good director. for the simple fact that the story we're talking about involved him getting out of a vehicle yeah. that he was driving. Yeah. Mm, Jennifer's away. Yeah. You know, he's like just trying to... Oh. Lots of the I blind. hope that's not true. Uh, as, yeah, we all do. A lot yeah. of the blind saying that's, I mean, we, I don't know if he's openly talked about his struggles with that, but uh, it sounds like in the blinds, of course, she's trying to hopefully keep him from doing that uh, as, as often because it mm-hmm. sounds like it's a battle that he's had. So, yeah, you never hopefully know. That's not the case. You never know. Never know. I, we, we hope for the best, but come on now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, Ben. Maybe J Lo needs to get back from Fashion Week real quick. Well, she can't because she's on that commercial flight and it yeah. takes so long. <laughs> she's got a few connections first yeah. before yeah, she, she can get home. And then go to Dublin. Brussels. Yep, yep. And then, yeah, it's a quite, long way home. Quite the process. Yeah. Uh, if only she had a private jet. Oh, <laughs> man. man, it's real rough for her right yeah. now. 600, uh, or $65 million home and no private jet. Oh, uh, what do you do? Actually, in multiple homes because yeah. they own multiple properties and he's renting one too for the heck of it. Yeah, so... You know, maybe fifteen thousand dollars isn't that much. We'll find out how she gets home. We'll uh, do another blind item here as we roll through them here. The She's battle. She's gonna take a steamer. <laughs> well, you, uh, you know, a, um, a steamer ship. <laughs> it's fine. Just go on. <laughs> I meant, you know what I meant? Uh, like a old timey ship. Yeah. That uses steam. Mm-hmm. Okay. Steamer. What? What's next? The battle rages Did on. That steamer. <laughs> Go to Cleveland. <laughs> you were thinking it. I we all said. were. We all were. It's just going through the ocean. <laughs> the battle rages on for the daughter of uh, the offspring of an A plus plus lister. Her mom's ex is doing everything he can to stay in the picture and snag as much cash as he can. Hmm. The battle rages on for the daughter of the offspring of an A plus plus lister. Her mom, her mom's ex, is doing everything she can to stay in the picture and snag as much cash as he can. Is this like a Lisa Marie Presley story? Wow, that was a loud buzz. Buzz. That was a ding. It was long, loud ding. Yes. Yeah, yeah, ding. Wow, that's so, okay. Say it again because well, I'm, you got you got oh, some work to do here. You still got to fill oh, in who it is. Yep. So we're talking about. Uh, the battle rages Riley on Keough. for the daughter, Riley Keough, okay. of the offspring of an A++ lister. That ex? I can't remember his her name. Her mom's ex is doing everything he can to stay in the picture and snag as much cash as he can. Daddy. Oh, he wears you remember the hats. Name? Yeah. Yeah. It's the douchey hat guy. Yeah. What's his name? You guys remember it. Uh, Franklin. M.L. Michael Lagubri. You're so close. Michael Lockwood. Lockwood. Michael Lockwood. Lockwood. According to the blind items, it sounds like the uh, battle is raging on, and it sounds like Riley Keough might believe that uh, uh, Michael Lockwood is just doing everything he can to drag this on and to snag as much cash from it as he can, using it as basically a cash grab. Mm hmm. Oh, gosh. We've heard that yeah, so We have. I don't know why it's coming up again in the blinds, but, but it is. But that just means pay attention to the space mm-hmm. because maybe there'll be a development in that regard. And look, money makes good people do bad things. And wear terrible hats. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a but very I mean, expensive, terrible hat. I mean, not only him, but her. Like, I, yeah. I mean, look, she shut out Granny real quick. Yeah. Granny's also greedy. Well, that's what I mean. Like, (laughs) money makes good people do bad things. Like, uh, everyone's motives. Yeah, that's... hmm. It's a good life lesson today for Blinded by the Atom. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah, well, we'll have to deal with it someday. Someday Because we're we're well on the road to making millions. So, clearly, have you subscribed? Have you subscribed, YouTube watchers? And radio listeners, and also podcast listeners, are you watching on the YouTube? That's right. We're doing Do so well. We don't have to take a steamer across the ocean anymore. We could maybe take a plane. <laughs> well, and sometimes our views go through the roof when we're not talking about Meghan Markle. There's hope for us yet. Yeah, Wait exactly. Because anytime we mention Meghan Markle, peel the curtain back. Wow, you guys have opinions. Yeah, people get very, very emotional. But Are we, you talking about the 
Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle? The Duchess of Sussex. Yes. The I, f- I think. Former acting Meghan Markle, who's yeah. married From to Suits? Prince Harry. Oh, yes. Did I you know, know her. She was in Su- oh, that's the that's the crown. The crown just that's did that to you. That's the ghost of the queen. Oh, the here. queen who it's just gave me. Fest. She gave me pride lights. Woo! <laughs> Again, you can only see pride <laughs> lights yeah. on, on our the YouTube, YouTube channel. channel, bitches. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, back to that Meghan Markle (laughs) moment brought to you by American Riviera Orchard. Oh, God, I love that jam. Sponsoring this podcast. (laughs) Yeah. That would be a great first sponsor. You know, we are like the most neutral on Meghan Markle. True. We all, I would love to hang out with her, but also I've got a lot of questions. I do too. I want to go into her house. I want to like see what life is really like. I just want that jam. Yeah. We'll bring you some jam, girl. I want to trade jam. I can bring her jam. Okay. Let's do another blind item here. Let's roll through to this next one. Reports are filming has been a process and a bit of a struggle as the illiterate actress and her foreign-born streaming co-star are not fans of each other at all. Mm. So we've got reports that the filming has been a tough process as the illiterate actress and her foreign-born streaming co-star are not fans of each other at all. A literate actress mm-hmm. and her foreign born co star. Yep. Mm-hmm. A literate actress, and they're in a streaming experience. It is a uh, filming streaming experience from the way the blind item sounds. What does that mean? So, like, it hasn't aired yet? Or you mean like it's a they're movie? filming it, right? It's a streaming thing that's currently under production. That's how I read that blind item, yes. Okay. Reports are that filming has been a tough process as the illiterate actress and her foreign-born streaming co-star are not fans of each other at all. Hmm. Do we know about this show? Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. Is it White Lotus? It is not. Sydney Sweeney? It is not White Lotus, no. And it's not Sydney Sweeney doing something. Not okay. that illiterate actress. Okay. But. Sydney Sweeney adjacent? No. Okay. Name wise, oh, similar two S's? for the Sharon illiterate. Stone. Not Sharon Stone, but yes to the SS. Um, Sandy Skroflowski. <laughs> Man, she's my favorite. She's going to win the Oscar this year. Think of fi- uh, shows that might be filming right now. That we are maybe have been waiting for a while to be oh. filmed. Oh, is Last it a Stranger Things thing? Last of Us? It is Stranger Things? Stranger Things. Okay. Oh. Winona Ryder? Um, oh, oh. So is it the... Uh, yeah, what's her name? I don't know. Millie Bobby... No. Yep, that's one half. Okay, Millie Bobby Brown. Brown. She's the foreign born. Like... <gasps> it sounds like that this illiterate... Sophie? Nope. Souffle. Mm-mm. Is is she a redhead? Yep. Yes. She's Shasta. the redhead. Oh. Shasta Shaneberry. No, but that's a great drag name. Um, she her also name has is... an illiterate character. Yeah. Max Mayfield. Her oh, name. Shoot. Is Sharon. Sadie. Sadie Smith. Oh, you got no. Sadie. Simonski. What that streamer or what that steamer is going to do if you punch a hole in the side? Sink. There you oh go. Oh my God. Her name is Sadie Sink. Yeah, Sadie, Sadie Sink. Sink. Yes. I've never heard that name before. You haven't watched Stranger Things, have you? I just dumped just it the first on the season? third oh, okay. after the third season. I'm like, I'm, I can't Sink. do this anymore. Tell me more about According her. To the blind items, uh, filming has been a process and been a difficult one, as it sounds like Sadie Sink and maybe Millie Bobby Brown do not like each other at all anymore. Uh oh. I don't know. That's what the blind yeah, is saying. Totally, totally believable, though. I mean, like, petty jealousies are, yeah. those, are everywhere. I mean, I don't know. I have no, you know, I'm sure maybe they're both like, oh, we love each other. But, but the, th- the idea that people on a set would not care for each other, totally believable. Yeah. And I know Sadie Sink's character, even though I haven't watched it, she is a key part of the show. And Millie Bobby Brown has expressed that she is so totally done with the show and doesn't even want to have anything to do with it. So now Sadie Sink is getting a lot of attention and she's like, I don't want it, but I don't want anyone else to have it. Oh, that's that kind of thing. I just made that all up, but that's because I was once a teen girl. Oh, so you just made that into, <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> Pride lights. 
So they're just randomly turning on like Bradley's that. Bradley's ring light. The, if you're just listening, the ring light audio, is like dawn. It changes to mine. I'm never done does with your this. conversation. Pride lights. It never. Pride lights. It just turns to a rainbow, and mine has never once done That's this. That's because I'm gay, and it's Pride Month. <laughs> All lights turn into well, Pride lights. Woo! It. It's a party. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad we figured that one out. You guys out. did nicely done. Do you have another quick one. That I do. Is easy. Um, we'll see. We got we got a little bit of time here. Okay. Let's see how this I'm one goes. Leave the pride lights on. Leave them on. God, yeah. The middle child looks like a twin of what this A minus list actor looked like at the same age. Mm-hmm. Will his former co-star finally reveal the parentage? Whoa. It's like a- is this a Mindy Kaling? Thing? I said it was a quick one, not yeah. that dang quick. Oh, sorry. Well, she just had a third. <laughs> she just had another a third. baby, and the second child looks just like her co-star. Ryan started the fire. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. You don't know his name at all? Dev Patel? Nope. No, he's... Who's the... He has dark hair. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because there were rumors about this. It's like, it's clearly he's the father. But she doesn't want to talk about it, and I think which is, I, fine. Which up, is totally fine. Yeah, I, is I actually name? really appreciate that. Writer, actor. Yeah. What is his name? Played one of my favorite roles in the TV show Lessons in Chemistry. Oh, Lessons he sure did. Chemistry. You're right. That was one of my favorite parts of that show. Oh god. He voiced a particular character. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, it's B. J. Harris. B.J. Oh. Novak. There you go. You guys got, got there. there. Yes, former uh, co-star in The Office, of course, but uh, according to the blind items, the middle child of uh, Mindy Kaling looks basically exactly like he did at that same age. I wonder if his former co-star is going to be revealing the parentage at any point. I don't know. I mean, I mean also... We kind of all talked about the story, care? so... Uh, I mean, I, we blind care. Blind items do, apparently. But do we care? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's one of those things... Like it's such it's a like 1960s... They're not, they're, like. Yeah concern like mm-hmm. Ooh, who's the real father of this child it reminds me of when people on social media get extremely upset when celebrities don't show their baby's face mm-hmm. on instagram and you're like why they they're do? like why but they we get... want to see your face what about the face and like they're choosing not to show their kid's face yeah. which i'm like leave them alone i, I will read comments for an hour about people going back and forth not an hour but at least 10 minutes it's just like they're choosing not more to like do 20 it. Twenty minutes, don't lie. Okay. <laughs> anyway, because and I want to type something, but then I don't, because I'm like there are other people fighting that fight. So, yeah, we we shouldn't if they don't want to reveal that. That's none of our business. Yeah, we should normalize people not putting their children everywhere. Yeah, on social media. Exactly. Cause Good job. Because the same people, thank you. Same people are like saying, "Why are you putting?" Your kids, Kardashians, on everything. They should have a childhood. Well, they're also like trademarking their children's names exactly. and product lines that go along with that. So that's what tells you about that. I wonder where JLo is right now. If she's on her way back in the route. She was on a steamer headed to Cleveland yeah. last we checked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which we would have never expected from her. But, you know, every day things are different. Looks like I'm watching. Yeah. She's on a Spirit Airline flight right now. Oh. And uh, working that her way just back. got canceled. <laughs> that just yeah. <laughs> She's having to leave the airport and come back in. Yeah, you know because you can't do it at the gate. You have to go out. Sure. Yeah. Then you go back to the desk. Mm-hmm. And then you wait in line with a bunch of very angry people. She wants this. She wants to be relatable as yeah. TMZ. Says. That's at the point that they cancel the flight. She's like, I'm no longer relatable. Yeah. Where's my private jet? Yeah. She's coming back from Fashion Week. Can you imagine how many checked bags? And those are all going to be additional oh, charges. Another $50. Oh, my. <laughs> and you at know this point, they're over 50 pounds. The yeah. private flight was probably cheaper at 15 k It's right. You've got that Can many you extra see bags. Her at the like ticket counter taking things out of the... Oh, it's 51 pounds. i got to take some <laughs> well, I've shoes. done that before. I've had to open my too. suitcase. So have I. It's yep. so awful. Jeans. Jeans and shoes. Jeans and shoes. Yeah. Well, well, great job, guys. You did wonderful today. I thought so. I think so, too. Thank kind you of our best work. for working so hard, Mike. Mike. Oh, I do my best, and you guys do great as well. Thank you. you. The Love Fest will continue again tomorrow here on uh, Blinded by the Item. But in the meantime, if you didn't know this and you're listening on the radio, it's also a podcast. You can download it. If you're listening as a podcast, it's also a YouTube channel, which you should all be liking and subscribing. Until we get to 1,000, I'm going to keep bothering you. So head over to, <laughs> to YouTube today and look for... Blinded, Blinded by, by the, the item! item. Bye. Bye.
blinded by the item. item, item.